Thanksgiving burger? That's right, it's about to go down right here on Brisket Medic. We're gonna go over how you can feed 12 to 15 people and under $30 and enjoy every flavor of Thanksgiving all together. Stay tuned. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and crank on our Blackstone griddle and make sure that it's up to a good temp so we can start cooking on it when our meat is ready. We're gonna be starting with some 93% lean, 7% fat ground turkey meat. And all we're gonna be doing to this turkey meat is taking a little S&P, throwing it on there, making a couple of patties. And we're not gonna make these patties super huge. And you'll see why, because we're gonna be adding a couple of different ingredients to this burger that aren't exactly burger-like, but they are very Thanksgiving, and they come together to make an absolutely delicious combination. So I like to take uh, the burger meat. This is 19 ounces, um, so I'm gonna divide it into quarters. And uh, this is gonna equal to be about a third pound each. Um, don't be like most Burger King customers in the 80s and 90s who couldn't comprehend that a third pounder is bigger than a quarter pounder. So about a third pound each. And uh, we're just eyeballing. Um, you know, it's, it's family cooking. Uh, this isn't competition. So we just take them, make nice little balls like that, make sure they're approximately the same size. Now these are not gonna be smash burgers, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna form our patty out. And uh, they're not gonna be super thick, but I do wanna go ahead and make a little bit of an indention in the middle and get these all laid out. As soon as we get these laid out, we're gonna top them with just a little bit of salt and pepper to sit for a while and then we'll move over to the grill and I'll show you what else we're going to use to build these amazing Thanksgiving dinner turkey burgers. Pat it out, little finger in the middle, makes a good holiday. All right, salt and pepper. This is equal parts salt and pepper. I like a heavy grind of pepper. Um, there we go. Cool. Easy enough, we're gonna let this sit. We're gonna move over to the griddle top and we're gonna show you how to get these burgers started. Now to be honest with you guys, before I started all this, I took some miniature yellow potatoes and I boiled them for about 10 minutes until they were probe soft and I've got them cut in half and sitting in the fridge to cool. I also took a box of stovetop stuffing mix, you know, the $1.88 stuff, and I made it in the microwave actually, according to the instructions on the box. It's also in the fridge to cool. Now, while we're letting these uh, salt and peppered patties sit out for just a second, we're gonna grab those, uh, the stuffing out of the fridge and we're gonna get ready to make some patties out of it as well because we're not gonna stuff these, but we're gonna add that dressing or the stuffing, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's dressing when it's not in the turkey, it's stuffing when it is in the turkey. And we're gonna make little patties out of those, kinda like a hash brown patty to add to our burger stack. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. This grill's getting up to heat. Turn it up just a little bit. And let me grab that other stuff out of the fridge and we're gonna get it started. Got just a little bit of stuffing here that we did make uh, inside or Mrs. Medic made inside. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to make some, uh, almost like a hash brown patty out of it uh, to add to our burger. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our burgers onto the grill and get them started because they're gonna take about three to five minutes per side. As soon as we get these burgers on, we'll go ahead and get our uh, stuffing patties on and then we'll start taking those boiled potatoes and uh, we'll go ahead and start getting them warmed up and crisped up on the edge on this side of the griddle as well. That'll be our side. But that's not all guys that's going on this burger. Um, 
really got some a special treat. Um, the bun is going to be amazing. Every flavor of this burger is going to be Thanksgiving, uh, most definitely. From the condiments to the buns to the meat, everything in between. Well, we're just going to dive in with our hands. Um, I don't know if any of y'all watch Sam the Cooking Guy. Um, I'm almost scared to recommend him because he's way better than I am. And uh, his his son is his cameraman and producer. And um, he freaks out when his dad uses his hands a lot. But I also use my hands a lot, so I don't really care. Um, I'm going to make a couple of these patties. Um, I'm just going to make two of these patties. But again, this is... Uh, if you do this, you could feed probably 30 people just like this. I'm sorry, 15 people for 30 bucks. Literally um, a full meal for $2 a person. And it's a Thanksgiving meal. You know, this isn't some, you know, leftover, anything like that. I mean, it's literally turkey, stuffing. Um, you, you'll see everything else that we'll have later on in the video. So while this is getting going, I'm going to throw the potatoes down over here onto the side. And I'm going to start boiling three cups of water because uh, with that three cups of water, I'm gonna add an au jus or a brown gravy mix to it, and you'll see what we're gonna do with that later. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started off to the side, get that brown gravy starting to make. It takes uh, five, 10 minutes for that to make, so uh, this should all be done about the same time. Let me grab the potatoes, get them thrown down. Guys, while this is cooking down, I want you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And go ahead and leave a comment down below. What's your favorite way to eat cranberry sauce? I kind of want to know. You like it canned? You like it fresh? Let's let this cook. I'm going to start on that brown gravy. Right, guys I am super pumped about this these are almost done uh, so what I'm gonna do to finish off these burgers the uh, the brown gravy or the au jus gravy is finishing up right now as well um, so I'm gonna throw a slice of cheese onto each one of these turkey patties um, go ahead and probe them if you feel like you need to if you want to be um, that safe um, don't don't ever feel bad about second guessing. Make sure that they're done. Uh, make sure you're hitting 165 uh, temperature at the minimum. Uh, 175 is even better for ground turkey. Um, just don't go too high or you will dry it out because again, turkey doesn't have that much fat content. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a piece of cheese on top of each one of these patties. And then we're gonna break out our rolls. Now these rolls are something that's very special. I don't know about you in your house, but in my house we always have Hawaiian buns. 
Um, so I found sweet Hawaiian sandwich buns. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these steamed and toasted on the griddle. In various places that I can find room. You know, I've always said I don't need a bigger griddle than what I've got, but uh, with something like this, obviously I do. So we're gonna find a few places. We're not trying to toast them up so much as we are trying to get them steamed up uh, and warm and all that good stuff. So I'll actually throw a couple right there and we're gonna let that set for just a few minutes. I'm gonna stir and turn down the fire on the gravy and I'll be right back. We're gonna build this burger and you're not gonna believe uh, what I'm gonna put on it uh, to top it off as far as condiments go. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Potatoes are getting crisp. Burgers are almost done. The dressing patties are looking absolutely delicious. I can't wait to build this burger and get it in my mouth. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to get this put together. First, we're gonna start with our steamed slash toasted bun. And we're gonna throw our turkey patty down on the bottom. And we're gonna to top it with that amazing dressing patty. It looks absolutely delicious. Now, we're gonna take that au jus sauce and we're gonna take just a little bit of that uh, and drizzle over the top of it just like that. Not try to make it too messy, but we wanna, we wanna get some of that flavor in there, right? Now, that's not the only condiment I'm gonna throw on there. Remember, I told you it's gonna be just like at home. And so, just like at home, just like at home, we've gotta have some of that jiggle, that cranberry sauce. Throw that bad boy right there. But wait, we're not done. We're gonna throw just a little bit more of that au jus just a little bit on that crown, the top bun there, and voila. We've got ourselves a delicious Thanksgiving meal, all in a burger form. And look at here, throw some potatoes on it, because this sucker is done. Absolutely delicious way to feed a group of people. If you're on a budget, like I said, you can feed about uh, 15 people a burger and a side like this for two to three dollars a person and it took me about an hour to do all this better than slaving three days in the kitchen for the kids just to eat a biscuit or a Hawaiian roll by itself guys I hope you have an amazing holiday happy Thanksgiving all the holidays that are coming up we love you guys thank you so much again hit that like hit that subscribe Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna take a bite out of this bad boy. I didn't know where to start. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's Thanksgiving meal in a bite. Wow, these potatoes. Forget about it. Oh. Love you guys. Drink more water.